Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out. All right. What are you seeing on your end? It's like different because it's, we go. yeah, but it's not, it's showing two screens, so it's not showing the right one. Usually it gives me the option. You can see it up there, see? Yeah, but that's not how you're supposed to see it. <laughs> um, I don't know why it's different here, because normally it asks where you want it to show because it's technically considered two screens. It's not giving me the option. There it is. Yeah, but you're not supposed to see that. You're supposed to see this. I need the screen to swap. Um. Because what I'm seeing is what you all are supposed to see. Mm -hmm. But you all are seeing all the slides. <laughs> like hers. Mara's computer should look like that. Is that what she has up? Sorry, guys, just different equipment than since we're at the office. What does Mara's look like like that? She has, she has a few. She just takes you. Oh. Well, normally it's opposite. It usually lets me pick the screen. So this is supposed to be up there and that's supposed to be on my computer, but I don't know how to switch it. Normally it asks me, but you probably don't know how to either. I, that I am not sure about. So who, you guys aren't seeing it? No. Slide one, slide two. Okay, hold on, let me close it. Good, <laughs> okay. Okay, now it's asking me. I want share. Oh, there we go. Hold on. Yep. Hold that up. I'm trying. Good. There you go. Now I think it's working. Yeah. I didn't do anything. <laughs> just your, just your presence was okay. super helpful. <laughs> Are you guys cool, warm? How's the weather for you? No, okay. it's good. Okay. Now, what do you guys see? Yes. Are you seeing? Well, you're not supposed to see it that way, but but that's the way we're gonna do Let's it go. because it's taking too long. <laughs> okay. Well, welcome everyone to October office meeting. Yay. We have people here. Hi everyone. And we have people on the screen. So anyways, I'm just gonna kind of plow right through this because we're running late now. Um, so the first thing, just wanted to let you guys know that our Phoenix office location is up and running. We moved offices in Phoenix. So there's a couple of pictures of the, of the like lobby our office door, the, the conference room. So anyways, it's right off the 202. Yeah. It's like super and easy to, and the 43. It's super easy to access. It's a lot better than the other one because it's got a huge parking lot, whereas the other, I, I doubt anyone's even been to the other Phoenix office, but you had to pay for parking and it was just, mm -hmm. it was not easy to access. And this one's, we like this one better. So mm -hmm. feel free to utilize it. It's great, it's awesome, and it's easy to get into. Um, wanted to let everyone know we started a Bliss Realty Planning com Committee today. Oh, yeah. Today is their first event if you're here in person after the office meeting so we can like hang out together. And we have food. And we have food. So if you're listening online but you are close by, you should come down here and see us because some of us are here in person and we have goodies. But if you have ideas or anything like ideas you want to join, Here's the email. It's planning committee at blissrealtyaz.com. You guys can email us. You can join. You can send suggestions, ideas. We want to hear from you. 
And next up, we have five minutes with Mara Benson. Oh, she, she jump up oh you probably should. She asked for five minutes oh, yeah. to talk. <laughs> what foot? Can you see me? They should be able to. Yes. Okay, so um, a little change. The committee is going to put together a Christmas party potluck, white elephant. I kind of sent an email. So, and instead of doing a big Christmas party. I know I can't see any of your faces, so I'm hoping you guys are excited like I am. We are going to put the money towards a big uh, business planning event in January, and this is going to be tag team with a locker room. So it's going to be a one day event, and we're going to be paying for speakers to come in, and it's going to be business speakers and life speakers. So I'm really pumped. I was telling my husband some of the speakers. And so Nathan, Jake, Chuck, MLD, and then my other coach that uh, Nathan introduced me to, Jess, which she has a book out. She's already emailed and said she's going to speak. Um, we're going to have fantastic speakers coming in. So I thought, you know what? Let's put money in and um, start the year off with a bang with our businesses. So um, it's going to be coincide with our life motivation and business planning. So, and how to be business, better business owners. So, um, Nathan was even talking about, he has connections with a gentleman that's done 50 Ironmans. So motivational, that, those kind of speakers. So I was telling my husband, he's like, um, I think I would pay to come. So all the bliss agents will be free. So we're gonna do this hybrid. They'll be in person and on Zoom. Even some of the guest speakers will be on Zoom. So anyway, I can't hear. Is anybody have questions? I don't know how to even I don't do know. that. It's all weird because it's um, um, it just changed. Maybe after, if you guys have questions, um, Sean's here because I'm gonna to talk to him after the meeting about filming the event. Um, this is going to be a big event and we're going to do one in the fall too. So I'm really excited. So instead of putting all, we spend thousands of dollars on a Christmas party and, and presents. I thought, you know what, let's bring in some amazing speakers around the world to talk to us about our business and our life and, and start the year off with that. So that's what I wanted to announce. So hopefully that's, I'm excited. Good. I don't know. I hope you guys are all happy about that. I was happy about it because that's something I've been looking for um, to increase my business. And it's something I'm always looking for um, in meditation, in whatever, and inspiring um, business leaders. So anyway, that's what I have. What is the date on that, Mara? So the date will be coming. Um, I should have it in the next week or two, I'm waiting on the locker room and then we'll be securing a facility. So we're gonna be charging tickets, but the Bliss agents are free. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I care about Scott. <laughs> All right, so I'm jumping out of order just a little bit to announce our October business partner of the month because we have them on here with us. And I just wanted to announce that our October business partner is Sweet Assist. Yay! And Woo! we have Clark and Corey on here. I know I saw Clark and I'm pretty sure Corey's on here too. Yeah. Because I can't see their faces. I know. But... I can see Clark. Yeah. C Corey couldn't, couldn't quite make it today, but uh, but I'm here uh, yes. in his honor. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Clark. And we just appreciate them so much. The whole move over was quite an undertaking, yeah. to say the least. It was more than I think they thought we thought yeah. and they were amazing getting it all done we're helping done us yet. and we're not yeah I mean we're, we're not done it's still but, a work in progress I know I know I have a list of questions that yeah. I need to get with Clark on that I'm like I don't know how to do this but it's all right <laughs> it's it was a rough couple of weeks it's yeah. gotten a lot smoother and definitely getting there but we couldn't have done it without them they have yeah. been so responsive so helpful yeah and poor Clark probably wanted to pull his hair out yeah no he's <laughs> great and the the exciting things are to come and that's Clark and I have meetings scheduled starting this Friday so he's going to help me 
customize and build the platforms out to what it should be able to do. So that's what's fun about this software is that we're going to be able to utilize it now even more. So we just had to get all the transactions over and and start really playing with it. So anyway, yeah. So thank you, Clark, Corey, yeah. for all your guys' help, your responsiveness. Yeah. And assisting us and getting everything moved over and they're great to answer questions yeah. like Mara was saying and help us tweak the software yeah things are always a work in progress they can make changes whereas like sky slope you can call them and ask them to change no, anything <laughs> yeah you can't even so this has been great like i said clark is like like that you email him and he helps mark and, yeah. I and get things fixed up so we really appreciate them and just wanted to recognize them yeah. For October Business Partner of the Month. So and thank you. Come in for January for our, our big business expo. Oh yeah. You yeah, should. yeah. Maybe maybe we can make an appearance. Well, uh, yeah. Thank you, thank you both very much as as well as all of as well as all of you as agents. Uh, you know, we're happy to have the opportunity to work with you all. Um, one thing we like to say is that you know, Sweet Assist is a platform built by brokerages for brokerages. And so with that, we couldn't be here to provide this software or, you know, accept this business partner of the month award without a brokerage like the list realty. So with that, we look forward to working with uh, each and every one of you over the years to come. And as uh, each of you have kind of clued into uh, the many improvements and features that are in the works and yet to be released and all that good stuff. So excited to share that all with you. Thank you, Clark. Yay. Yeah. Thank you both. Okay, so with that being said and the change, I just kind of wanted to go over the rules again for turning in documents as I know there has been struggles getting stuff turned in and figuring out the software. And we do have a lot of new faces. So, you know, per the ADRE rules, we have 10 days to review executed docs or we are in trouble. So our company policy is you have five days to turn in any executed docs for review. So that allows me time to get them all reviewed. And, and so that we can remain compliant. Um, we do have a $350 late fee. We have not been charging it with the changeover in the software, but at this point we've had the new software since August 22nd. So everyone should be familiar with it, know how to do it. And there shouldn't be any issues with getting your stuff turned in on time. So we are gonna go back to charging the fee if you do not turn in your docs for review. And along with that, if they are late, we have to have a letter for the ADRE explaining why you didn't turn them in. So if we are audited, there's an explanation for it, et cetera. So just kind of wanted to go over that again with the new people and just yeah, putting that back into place now that we are into the new software for over a month. So, And if you're not in the coaching program, that fee, like I hate charging that fee, honestly, like we shouldn't even have to have that fee, but that fee, get hire a transaction coordinator. So this isn't even an issue. That, yeah. That's a transaction coordinating fee. So when you get out of the coaching program, like work on that part. So if you're a normal agent, just have a transaction coordinator. So you don't have to worry about it all. I'm just throwing that out there. True, true. So, anyway. We don't like charging it, but yeah. it just became a necessary evil yeah. because we were having quite a lot of docs not turning yeah. in on time. So it, it seems to help be a good deterrent. Yeah. So we don't yeah. like to do it though. And like Mara said, that's pretty much a TC fee. So if you yeah. just, for whatever reason, struggle with that, hire a TC to do your docs. Yeah, we have three TCs and they're on the agent info site. So, and in sweet assist, so. And with that being said, also goes along with don't forget to hit the submit for review button when you yeah. load your documents into Sweet Assist for review. Yeah. It's gotten a lot better, but I'm still finding docs out there. And basically, in order to find your docs, I have to look through like over 100 files. So I don't do that regularly. And if you don't hit that button and the docs don't get reviewed on time because you didn't hit the button, you'll be charged the fee. So... Just know that, just hit the button when you submit docs because I have to go searching and it's not an everyday thing to go through a hundred files looking to see if somebody put docs in there. So, 
Um, next thing I wanted to go over, I don't know if you guys are aware, um, but there have been some laws put into effect for short term rentals. Um, actually, it was in 2017. Um, they, became, they put in a few, so it was prohibiting the city or town or county from restricting the use of regulation of vacation rentals and short term rentals and allowing like local governments so like the cities to determine the regulations governing those vacation and short term rentals and if the regulation is meant to protect public health and safety. It allowed them to provide a mechanism to collect and remit remit rental tax to Arizona Department of Revenue, because, of course, you know they want their share of that money. And then creating more economic opportunities and inclusiveness and trying to protect the private rights of the homeowners so that went into effect in 2017 so. As of course they did that it started evolving and so they just signed into effect a, additional laws for that on September 24th. Um, so now with everything evolving what Ducey did is kind of expanded on that because of course unforeseen consequences and circumstances came up with the law and then they were like oh we've got to address that so they've signed in further law um, with regulations and ordinances so now they're saying that the property owner so they're still keeping it at the local government level so the different cities might have different rules regarding this so I guess to what you need to know for your clients is a you're not lawyers so you shouldn't be explaining laws to them or telling them what the laws are, but you need to tell them there are laws and they need to check into the individual cities, they might be interested in purchasing a vacation rental if that's their goal. But it's up to them to do their research and satisfy themselves as to the rules and the ordinances for each city. I know that Scottsdale in particular has them. I and I don't exactly know what they are. I haven't really heard about other cities having a bunch of rules, but I've never really looked into it past Scottsdale. So just know that they're there. Um, so the new law is allowing um, like the property owner to obtain, I think they're starting to require them to obtain and maintain a permit or license to have a vacation rental. It's one of the things that the law can allow the different cities to require. Um, before you offer it as a vacation rental or first time rental, the property owner or designee must notify all the single family resident properties adjacent to it. So, as you know, you're probably going to get pushback from people once you start notifying them of that. Um, they're starting to say like to have the permit number and license number like displayed in the home, like in the window. Um, and they're allowing them now to like impose a civil pen penalty of $1,000 against every homeowner for every 30 days if the owner fails to provide contact information to the owner or the owner's designee who is responsible for responding to complaints and emergencies regarding the property. Um, they can deny issuance of a permit or license under certain circumstances. They can adopt administrative process to suspend a local or regulatory permit or license after 12 months associated with the property. So again, civil pen penalties against the owner of the vacation or short-term rental. Um, you can even if you've been um, if the owner gets or receives one one or more verified violation related to the same vacation or short term rental within the 12 month period, you can get that penalty up to $1,000. So just know that the rules and laws are evolving regarding vacation rentals if you have clients that are looking to purchase. And even if they purchase and the rules are what they are now doesn't mean that they can't change it at any time so. I mean, I would make it clear to your clients, like, you might buy now, and then they might say in six months, you can't do this anymore. So it's a risk that they have to be willing to take and be aware of. So oh, I forgot to change my screen. So, and then that gets us on to the revised contract revisions. I'm sure if you guys have written a contract or done a Benzer, you have noticed, hopefully, that they updated them starting October 1st. So the main thing that they changed, it's not so much the contract, um, but what they added to the purchase contract, it's in about four or five different spots. It says 
all they added was or address. And so it didn't really change anything. What it is meant to do is make it clear to you, to the buyer, to the seller, what options they have. So if you were experienced, you were doing whatever anyway, but now I feel like it makes it clear. I don't feel like it changed how anything operates. It just makes it clear. So you'll see like, I know it's probably hard to see, but especially because the screen's not right. It's literally in like six pages on I think five and six of the contract where they added or address, meaning that the seller can fix or address the buyer's complaints about conditions of the home. So kind of the bigger, broader language came in to the Benzer. They actually added, page I have, I have printed them out because I can't even see them. So they actually added on the first page, like a whole paragraph in there, basically. Um, there is a law that if the work to be done is over a thousand dollars or greater, that you have to use a licensed contractor. Mm -hmm. That's always been a law. Yeah. And they just put it in here so it's more clear to the agents, the buyers, the sellers, what is required. So sellers can't go and do, you know, they I don't know, like let's say they got something massively wrong with their plumbing and they they think they're a plumber. They can't fix it themselves if it's going to be over a thousand dollars. You've got to have a licensed contractor do that. So they put that in there so it's more clear. They've added in that they can address the disapproved items and you can attach an addendum if applicable. So that being so like it's always been confusing because if you're going to offer a credit it doesn't go on the benzer it still doesn't go on the benzer but now they're putting in there attach addendum if applicable so it's more clear so if buyer and the, before the buyer didn't have the option technically to ask for a credit in lieu of repairs it's something that kind of the agents would discuss and it would happen, but it, technically all you were able to do per the contract and the Benzer was ask for repairs. And then seller could say, yes, I'll make these or no, I won't. And then buyer could say, nope, I'm not accepting that. I'm canceling or okay. But people would do credits anyway. So now they're making it more clear that it's acceptable to do credits. And that's kind of why they made the language broader kind of address like adding an addendum. I thought it was interesting that they added in, and I think it might even be on the Windsor, I'm trying to remember. But they put in a word, so anyway, they put in words that you need to remember to give it to the lender and title company, which I don't know why you wouldn't, <laughs> because if there's a credit being offered, you, you have to tell the lender and title. And just, just that section? Not the entire? No, you don't give them the benzer, you, you give them the addendum. Yeah. But apparently there must have been an issue because they specifically like talked about that in the revisions, making sure you give the addendum to title and the lender. And they also talked about, and we talked to our agents, you never put in there credit in lieu of repairs. No. You still don't do that. <laughs> they specifically address that. Don't do that. fees for a year you can reduce the price but it all has to be an addendum and it has to go to title and the lender so basically what they did was make the language broader to allow wiggle room which if you were experienced agent you were doing anyways but it's a little more clear to buyers and sellers what their options are and to like new agents i feel like it spells it out more clearly how you can handle it so that's what the revisions were they also revised the real estate agency and disclosure, the vacant land lot purchase contract, the buyer broker agreement, the disclosure of buyer agency and seller waiver, and the unrepresented seller's compensation agreement. All they did was add an additional line because a lot of times agents work together and they're both representing buyer or seller. So they made it easier for you and add an additional line. 
if you're multiple agents working with one buyer or seller. So that's all they did to those forms. And next up, we have our upcoming classes. So we have actually this week, tomorrow, we have new builds. I was going to say for the contractor oh. stuff, we did add the contractor addendum in suite of six too. Remember? Oh, yeah. Yeah. If we you're created one. Yeah. Like if you're doing fix or flips yes. and up updating houses and it's over a thousand dollars in repairs that you do or upgrades, yeah. which most likely it's going to be, we actually have an addendum in there because you have to disclose the contractors yeah. you use. The list is created. So it is in suite assist if you're doing those things and it is yeah. a required doc because you're supposed to disclose that. So, so we have new builds to tomorrow. Tomorrow with Stephanie. Stephanie. And Zoom at 11. And then we have a buyer presentation with Mara class coming up October 18th at two. Yeah. And we have a home bot class coming up October 20th with Stacy at the Stacy's. I just realized it's called Stacy. Stacy, Stacy. <laughs> and then Mara's going to do a listing presentation class. We've gotten some requests for these. So we're going to yeah. go over that with you guys. No stress on that one because that's right. Wedding. <laughs> okay. Yeah, who scheduled that? Uh huh. <laughs> Big red over there. <laughs> you could have said no. I was like, no. you have veto power. <laughs> You're the boss. <laughs> we have a roofing class coming up. I'm excited about that one. Yeah, I really am. She's she. Evelyn's awesome. So they're they're great. Um, and I think there's a lot about roofs people don't realize because oh, it's not like we can see them. You know, right. you kind of look up and you're like, well, it's okay to me. But this <laughs> can make or break a deal. Mm -hmm. It really can. So I think agents need to learn about this. So I'm excited. Yeah, I think that's going to be a good one. <laughs> we have Build Your Business by Referrals, November 2nd. And... Don't miss this one. It's yeah, our business planning for 2023. It'll be at the Gilbert I'm office. I'm in it with them. I'm in it with them. Yeah. Okay. It's the three of us. Or it's a threesome. It's a threesome. <laughs> it says bliss. I said that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just I'll, put my name on it. No. <laughs> yeah, it's a threesome. <laughs> well, this is what I have. So yeah, Matt, Matt's getting uh, sister wives on this. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's here with us for those they, of you online. Yeah. Matt's, Matt's sitting here, right here. Yeah. <laughs> and Shannon's known me long enough that <laughs> it's and Mara Matt's freaking awesome. And they're awesome. But Matt does not have my spreadsheets. Oh, you got some spreadsheets? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to give them to him. Awesome. But it's always good. I feel like you, yes. like, we do this right before the holidays hits because I feel like, uh, like, pretty much after this, it's going to be like, oh, they see it in Christmas. And yeah. that's why we don't do a lot of yeah. classes after this or anything because no. everyone's busy with family. And then we'll have January's. <laughs> yeah. But at least you'll be all set for January and have a plan for your business next year because you don't want to be going, oh, crap, it's January. And I didn't even think about this. Because <laughs> it does help you, I think, stay on track and implement your stuff yeah. and keep your business flowing. So. Mara needs to stay on track. <laughs> so does Lisa. <laughs> I will be the first to say, do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> we So with the, we, the end of the year coming up, we have tax planning yeah. for figuring out, maybe for you agents. don't know, yeah, for yeah. agents specifically, what you can write off, et cetera, that maybe you didn't know. Laws are always changing, so that'll be a really good one to plan for your taxes, especially if you need to do any last minute end of the year purchases to not have to pay taxes. <laughs> so it's good to get that done before the end of the year. It's too late to, to do anything you might need to do to save yourself some money. Our next office meeting, we're switching them to 1 p.m. So, and I know this is Wednesday and they're normally on Thursday, but I think I had 
scheduled classes. I messed up. So that's why it's on Wednesday. But next month, it'll be Thursday, the second Thursday of the month at one o'clock. And it will be one o'clock going forward. We made a change. Yeah. Um, so it won't be 11. So Thursday, November 10th, one o'clock via Zoom. Have a cocktail while we're doing it. Right? If it's yeah. afternoon, it's like okay to it's, have one, it's right? It's happy over <laughs> on the East Coast. So you guys were free for that. But if you if it's before one and you put orange juice in it, then that that's okay then too, that's right? <laughs> Where are you gonna meet before? I don't know. I'm always it's afraid I'm gonna get in trouble with you. I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't either. I mean, everyone knows I'm LDS and I'm over here talking about threesome. So <laughs> I drink a lot while I'm reviewing docs after 3 p.m. Yeah, I'll see my glass of wine next to my desk. It's the only way I can get through it. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to finish recognition. Um, we did, like I said, jump ahead and recognize sweet assist because Clark had some other yeah. things he had to attend. Um, but October, agent of the month. It's Jennifer. Wow, that's a surprise. I didn't. That, yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, girl, you've been working hard, doing your deals, learning your stuff. You've We're proud of you. Hard. Yeah. She has. Yeah. Awesome, girl. You're well, doing a good you. job. She's, and she's working on a team after the wedding. So. Trying to keep her from squirreling. Right? Maybe Mara, I should assign you're, her. Mara, you're the you're the mentor, motivator for sure. Thank you. <laughs> you always push me. That's a good thing. I need it. Yeah. No, you're you're working hard. It shows, girl. So anyways, good job. We appreciate you. And then the President's Award, which you probably could already see since I What? Is Patty on here? I am. Hi, Patty. Wow. Congratulations. I didn't expect You're that so at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, wow. you should. You're working hard. Go I Patty. Am. Yay. I just met with a buyer. Here, so Got back. Just in yep. time to get on this. <clears throat> awesome. Thank you. Thank you. You have been working your sphere and, and get your stuff done. And, and for those of you who don't know, Patty's in Tucson too. So she joins us via yep. Zoom for most things, which I think is works just fine. Yeah, but yep. too. yeah. So she's working it down there, working her sphere. Just had a closing. Yep. So congratulations. Awesome. Thank you, thank you. I like when they talk back. No one, I no know, one they're talk. all quiet right now. They <laughs> well, know. no, they, I feel like they don't normally talk and now they're talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I just need to, I feel like I just sit here and ramble to myself, it, but normally I don't have a room of people either. So I'm at home in my office and I'm like, is anyone yeah. even listening to me? <laughs> I'm just like talking just to myself. Yeah. The only people that care are the dogs. They're the only ones listening to me. <laughs> we're listening we're listening <laughs> but that was it and i know i'm sorry if you guys joined late that you saw it that way because i couldn't figure out how to switch the screens because i'm not home <laughs> so i'm looking mm -hmm. on my computer what you should be seeing and you're seeing what i usually see so you kind of it was a little bit messed up but anyways that's it does anyone have any questions um, those tickets that you were talking about for the people we're going to have to pay? Yes. How much are they? Do you know? That's for we, you. We have not <laughs> come up with a number yet. Okay. So I think the minimum would be $40. I don't know. I don't know. And we'll have okay. there, so I don't know. Um, it's going to depend on how many speakers we have, and I'm thinking where I can have it at. If it's going to be in a hotel or the Scottsdale Conventional Con Convention Center. So once I have a date from the locker room, because I've asked for Chuck MLD 
Jake and Nathan, obviously, to be there. So, at, so for you guys that don't know, Nathan, so Chuck coaches our coaches. Yep. And um, Nathan is my mentor. And then he got me with Jess. She's my mentor and rides me hard all week. You should see my calendar. So between her and Nathan, um, that's that. And then you guys, that's my schedule. So, um, so when Nathan and I were talking and I just said, you know, half the agents can't come to Christmas parties. And I feel like the, the, the time for planning the money we spend, I just, it's just, Honestly, it's a letdown because I feel like, ha and we have agents in other states, if you don't know it. We have some in Washington. We have some in Texas. We have one in Sholo. We have you guys in Tucson. And then families. So at the holidays, it gets tough. So I'm like, how can we give back to the agents? And, and how do we grow our businesses? So when Nathan and I were talking and I said, I just can't get my heart into another Christmas party. If it's supposed to be for all of the agents and only half are able to come. To me, that's not worth it, right? Um, so when he and I were talking, he's like, why don't we plan a one day business life event and bring in some amazing speakers like Speakers that are above Tom Ferry, speakers that we can pay for, use all the money that we were going to use for the Christmas party, and then have sponsors also to help pay for. And I was like, okay, now I'm fired up. Like, I was still texting Chuck at like 10 o'clock last night and this morning about it. Like, my heart's racing right now. I'm excited about it. And I was just sending emails and my coach Jess is in the Bahamas and I was messaging her and she's like, I'm already in, I'm in, just give me the date. So there's people that want to do it. And I was like, heck yeah. And I go, well, all the bliss agents are hip too. They can come or on zoom and it's free. Like why not? And then even schedule some one-on-one -on -one time with the speakers because I, I say that, that's what we need. That's a Christmas present. So anyway, I'm near tears because I'm like that. That's what motivates me. And for me, that's what I want to go to. I'm going to put on an event that I want to go to. I'm tired of looking at all these other masterminds. And I'm like, I, I don't want to go to that. Like mm -hmm. I go to one class and leave. So let's plan an event that we would all get something out of and walk away that we, we, we make money the rest of the year on, you know? So if you guys have ideas, send them over to me, send them, send them to your coach, whatever, some topics. And I don't care if it's on like health, fitness, dieting, spiritual business. It doesn't have to be real estate. When I was talking about this, it doesn't need to be real estate. It's all business, motivational and life. And my husband was like, well, can I go? And I go, yeah, but you're going to pay. <laughs> Technically. <laughs> Let his license lapse. <laughs> That's his bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, anyway, it's, um, he was like, well, who can go? And I'm like, well, anyone. Like, we're going to make it good. It's going to be a great event. And, um, you know, and so the locker room's like, well, can you guys do another one in the fall? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, we will. So if, for you guys that don't know me, I put on political events, like with news media and events at the Capitol. And I've had like over 500 people show up and thousands of people in their campaign. So I'm like, okay, well, this I can do. So this will be fun. And the, the bliss agents have VIP, so. And I want one-on-ones with the speakers. So I think that would be great. Yeah. Especially with you guys, with like Jess, Nathan, we'll have Chuck, Emma B. If you haven't heard her speak in the locker room, like I just like her. So her energy is awesome. Um, 
she's she's a great she's a great coach too. So Mary Lou is her name. Yeah, I just don't know how to do that. Yeah, she's cool. So anyway, yeah. So any topics you guys would like, um, you know, let me know. Anything you guys can think of, health, mental, anything, business. Um, you know, how to juggle your business, your life. You know, think of things where you see yourself in five, ten years, even if it's you're like not obtainable. Like my coaches are pushing me, so I'm like, well, I don't know how to think of that. What do you mean numbers? Like, um, I don't. I don't know how to think that. I don't know how to think that far. Or what do you mean? Like, I have a dream. And they're like, well, it's not a dream. It's it's obtainable. So, anyway, it's good. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Any other questions? I actually have a question. I jumped in right when you were talking about the, um, if you spend more than $1,000 on renovation, you need to disclose the parties who are doing the work. Mm -hmm. um, is that only if you've owned the property less than two years or that's any time that the seller invests more than $1,000? So that's if you're doing repairs, like you're a seller selling the house and the buyer asks for repairs. If it's going to be over $1,000, you need to use a licensed contractor and disclose who you use, giving the receipt or whatever. But as far as like if you've lived in your house for 30 years and you've done carpet and whatever, like no, it's more of a for a, a fix and flip. Like if you buy a house, fix it up, and did a bunch of work, you need to disclose who you use, but not like if you've been an actual normal homeowner who's lived in a house 20 years and has done flooring and bathroom remodeling all that over the years. You don't have to like disclose every person you used over the last 20 years. Right. Yeah. I think that I was asking more, um, like I have clients who have, um, uh, rental properties and they've had their rental properties after the renter moves out, they do a bunch of renovations and then they put it on the market. Um, so in that case, because they've done renovations, do they have to disclose who they've used or no? Depending on what it is. And if it's been over a thousand dollars, yes. And they need to use licensed contractors. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Anything else, guys? Okay, well, I think we're done then. Um, it's good to see you all, but we're all sitting here in person, so you should drive down here. Yeah. We're waiting for you. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Lisa. <laughs> all thanks, right. everyone. Bye. Have a great rest Bye. of your week. Bye, Thank guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.